Hey everyone, I am Dan O'Callaghan. Welcome to Do Art With Dan. In this video, I'm going to be going through a bunch of old drawings, basically just reflecting on my artistic journey over the last few months. The top drawer there is where I've just got, uh, like, fresh paper, and it's a bit thicker. I think it's like 200 GSM, which is a bit at least double the thickness of regular paper, uh, copy paper. This middle drawer is empty at the moment, but that's where I sort of have the work in progress pieces. And then the last drawer is uh, where I have all of the sort of finished pieces. And that's what we're going to be going through today. And we will just flip it over. Uh, this isn't the only stuff I've been working on. I've been doing some writing and some conceptual drawing that I can't share with you quite yet. I'm sure pretty much all of it will have been shared on my Facebook or Instagram. So those of you who have been following me on those platforms for a while, the reason this video might still be interesting to you is that I'm going to be critiquing the hell out of these drawings. So these drawings have been put in the bottom drawer of my desk drawer here. And they are basically what I consider completed illustrations. Uh, the ideal is that this is my daily drawing practice uh, file, but these are just random drawings from the past few months really, probably even the past year or two. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember exactly what's in here, but uh, they a lot of them are fully coloured, and the reason for that is that I want to practice each stage of these illustrations, and all of them are character illustrations. I'm going to talk about why I'm looking at these as I go through them and also how they might have been done better in hindsight and that's the beauty of looking back at your old art artworks I think is that uh, you can look at them with probably more wisdom than you had when you were originally drawing them and that, I think that's valuable and uh, uh, interesting to look at so I'm going to pick out a couple of them to really go more in depth with and critique and maybe even redraw them entirely all right then, let's get into it. So, da da da, and we have an ugly old hunchback with a very rude finger going on there. I've just censored it out, just to be safe. Uh, I definitely drew this guy like over a year ago. I remember it was at a convention, and uh, yeah, I'm just practicing the muscle groups and doing something sort of semi-realistic, but ultimately very cartoony. And uh, the Copics are definitely a bit messy. So yeah, that's something I've got to work on there. But I think character design wise and attitude, look at that cheeky bastard. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, -boom. That was definitely from reference. Whereas this previous one, that was definitely from my imagination. And I just saw the bubbles and the splashes and I thought, God damn, that looks cool. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd try and try and redo it. Uh, yeah, just for practice. I don't know what kind of critique I could give it. What have we got here? Well, this dude, yeah, he's got attitude. Look at him. Uh, yeah, just playing around with style. Uh, this was from imagination as well. I was probably looking at a cartoon, how to draw cartoons book or something, and like looking at that and getting inspired and. That's probably the influence that I had there. But, uh, yeah. Little stupid cigarette. And, yeah, this is, this is, this could be probably drawn a little better, but, you know, it's a cartoony, cartoony vibe, so who really gives a shit? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can see, I could definitely work on my Copic uh, technique a little bit more. Yep, this is weird, yeah. Yep, that was from imagination, probably on a train or something. Yeah, it's good that it's got a bit of a background though. Uh, I tend to just draw, draw a character and then and leave it at that, which is, you know, I, I should try and practice putting in backgrounds and whatnot because, uh, yeah, I definitely don't do that often enough. There's a cool little robot dude here on the back. I um. I used to draw a lot of these in high school, and I remember, and primary school actually, and I remember some 
son of a bitch teacher came up and he was just like, that's enough drawing. I was distracting all the other kids with the drawings of robots. I just got a real kick out of doing the robots at the time. And he was just like, nah, you're distracting everybody. He literally scrunched it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm totally over it. Um, oh, and there's a bigger, more advanced, cool looking robot on the front. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely probably watched Pacific Rim earlier that day. But uh, yeah, and I didn't finish the background here, which I don't know, it's probably not the right. Yeah, it's just a loose sketch. But yeah, I um, yeah, that's very Pacific Rim influenced. But I wouldn't have had a reference. I remember this one. I, I would have just seen the movie and then gone, oh, I want to draw something cool like that. And uh, it might have even been for an Inktober event, or maybe Inktober was coming up. Uh, Inktober is this event that happens annually during the month of October. I'm sure a lot of artists out there will know, but you know, there's some young new people, maybe you don't know about it. It's very cool, very cool thing to get involved with. Just Google Inktober, you'll find more information about it. But yeah, I liked this uh, technique that I used. Uh, my brush, it was, uh, which brush was it actually? I'll get it so that you can see this little, little bastard here. Um, it's called a touch something. I get them at Officeworks, uh, it's a shop in Australia, I don't know if it's in other countries or not, probably is, but uh, yeah, it's a cheapo, $2, $3, something like that, um, but it was running dry, and so I just randomly started doing this stroke, and I was like, oh, maybe I could just turn this into a whole pattern on the whole robot, so that's what I did, yeah. But um, so this was from Imagination. I didn't have a reference or anything, but as you can see, it's from Spider-Man Homecoming. I think I'd just seen it earlier that day. And uh, yeah, I've gone, you know, pencils, inks, then copics, and I've drawn in a, a sweet environment with an interesting composition. And uh, you know, I go through all those steps with one of these drawings. Uh, I think originally my intent was, you know, this would be a cool print to put up on a website or whatever, but Ultimately, going through to that final stage of Copics, it's just good practice for each of those stages, for penciling, for inking, for Copics, you know, practicing each of those things. Even if I don't do anything with these drawings, like this is just a fan art piece. Um, yeah, but the stage that comes before all that, before the actual application and the rendering, is the conceptual stage, and that's it's really awesome to practice that too, without having so many references and whatnot. Just to uh, to figure out the composition and yeah, uh, how you, how you want to draw the image. <coughs> what do we got here? Dun -dun. Do art or die. Yeah, this is um, kind of messy inking by the look of it, you know, a bit thick at the top on the head. It should be much thinner. i got to be much more careful with my line art sometimes, but uh, yeah, just a fun little piece playing on my little Dan O'Callaghan do art motif uh, with that slogan, messing with that. Can't remember what that was for. Just some random illustration I did. Yep. Work on blending the copics a bit more for sure. Dun dun, dun 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 Yeah, love the Millennium Millennium Falcon. Yeah, such cool, cool design. Pizza esque shape. Uh, yeah. I must admit, I'm a huge fan of Jake Parker and he did an X Wing, had a very similar style. And uh, I was like, damn, I want to draw a cool, can I even, I just saw his image and I was like, that's such a nice X-Wing right there. And I was like, can I even draw that? Yeah, of course I can draw. So I was like, don't do the X-Wing, do a Millennium Falcon. So I did have a reference for this. I had the Millennium up there on my computer just to get some of them details really nice. I didn't go fully detailed though, like it's not every excru you know, excruciating little dent and whatnot. It's, um, it's got that slight simplification and cartoony vibe, which is what I wanted. Uh, the Asteroids, maybe they could have used a bit better Copic colors. 
And, uh, but yeah, this guy, yeah, happy with that. Yeah, did its job and uh, reassured me that I am decent at mechanical, mechanistic pieces. Uh, yeah, this was uh, without reference, just, uh, you know, I was thinking of Star Wars and the aesthetic of Star Wars, which does have, you know, anybody who's a fan of Star Wars knows there's a certain vibe to the world of Star Wars. There's a design language, you might call it. And uh, yeah, I thought, hey, do like my own uh, bounty hunter-esque character and yeah, just mess around with that. Kind of like something you might see in, I don't know, Star Wars The Old Republic, that video game, that old game. But uh, yeah, and I thought, you know, you don't always see purple. Oh, you do. There's probably some purple characters. Of course there is. There's purple characters all over the place in Star Wars. But I thought, you know, purple, green, and yellow. I liked how I, uh, yeah, spaced out these color choices. And uh, as usual, going over the lines with the copics a bit and all that. But uh, yeah, served its purpose. I don't know what else I'd do to it. Uh, yeah. This was at a little small convention in in Brisbane I remember I'm just sitting there doing some drawings and usually at a con I like to not draw and just talk to people and relate to people and uh, communicate and all that but uh, on occasion I will yeah whip out the sketchbook and just do something and it often draws people in you know what are you what are you drawing there eh? uh, so yeah I was doing this for like I yeah cool I don't know probably watched a Transformers movie earlier and that sort of influenced me a bit, probably. But yeah, I like the the colours, just the grey and red accents, and then the green shredded up cape. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I don't know what else I'd do to it. Probably just a bit of better uh, line work on there too with the inking. Next one. Yeah, this was on the train when I was going down to Brizzy, um, and studying. Uh, animation and whatnot yeah he's cool yeah a bit rough you know again with the inks and all that but I was you know just pumping this out rushing it out uh, just just as a practice piece yeah just to um, have fun with I think I might have just watched the trailer for that rampage movie or something or King Kong or something and that influenced me a bit probably but uh, yeah it's, it's, it's cool, cool, right? And I've got the composition, you know, sort of your eye starts up here and travels down and, and then the tail, a bit of foreshortening happening there. But yeah, as usual, being a bit messy with the Copic, so I've got to work on that. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I was thinking I might cut it at this point, actually, because I've got so much footage as I'm editing it together that... Uh, we could, we could probably keep going for another half an hour, but I'll, I'll upload another video tomorrow as we continue through this pile of old drawings and I'll redo a whole drawing in that one, I think, where, where I pick out a drawing that's like not really working as well as it should and uh, redraw it. So please subscribe and uh, you'll get a notification tomorrow morning if you hit that bell icon, of course. Thanks, guys.